The breach in the embankment along Daunting Lake is part of a broader pattern of severe weather events that have intensified across China this summer. In addition to the immediate impacts in Hunan, various regions across the country are grappling with the consequences of extreme weather, highlighting the urgent need for robust disaster preparedness and response mechanisms. The flooding in Hunan has disrupted not only the lives of thousands of residents, but also critical infrastructure. Farmlands inundated by the surging waters pose a significant threat to local agriculture, potentially affecting food supply and livelihoods. The swift response by emergency services, including the deployment of rescue personnel, vehicles, and boats, underscores the gravity of the situation and the commitment to mitigating further damage. In a broader context, the Chinese government's allocation of substantial relief funds underscores the scale of the disaster and the priority placed on addressing it. The 540 million yuan earmarked for relief efforts will support not only immediate rescue operations, but also longer-term recovery and rebuilding initiatives. This funding is crucial for regions like Hunan, where the impact of the breach and subsequent flooding will be felt for months, if not years, to come. China's struggle with extreme weather is not confined to Hunan. The country is witnessing a series of interconnected disasters, with heavy rains in the east leading to swollen rivers and widespread evacuations. The Yangtze River, the longest in Asia, has seen significant increases in water levels, prompting authorities to take preemptive measures to protect vulnerable populations. These actions are a testament to the challenges posed by climate change, which exacerbates the frequency and severity of natural disasters.
The situation in southern Guangdong province, where 38 lives were lost due to deluges, is another stark reminder of the deadly potential of extreme weather. Similarly, the tornado in Shandong province, which caused fatalities and injuries, highlights the unpredictable and often catastrophic nature of these events. The cumulative effect of these disasters is placing immense pressure on China's emergency response infrastructure and testing the resilience of its communities. President Fanny Jinping's call for all-out rescue and relief work reflects the critical importance of mobilizing resources and coordinating efforts across multiple levels of government and society. This coordinated response is essential to address the immediate needs of affected populations and to lay the groundwork for long-term recovery. As the summer progresses, the focus will remain on monitoring weather patterns, preparing for potential future events, and enhancing the resilience of communities to withstand such challenges. The lessons learned from the current crisis will be invaluable in shaping future policies and strategies aimed at mitigating the impact of extreme weather safeguarding lives, and ensuring sustainable development in the face of a changing climate. Thank you.